Hey y'all, what's happening? Today I'm gonna to show you how to use your smartphone as a webcam. Let's go. Hey, welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where I'm into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that kind of stuff, you're in the right place, my friend. Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. So to use your smartphone as a webcam, you're gonna need a piece of software called Camo. There's a free version and then there's the pro version, Camo Pro, which opens up a lot more features. Now with the free version, you get 720p resolution and stuff like uh, overlays and the ability to connect multiple iOS devices at a time. Now for $4.99 a month, or $39.99 a year, or $79.99 for a lifetime license, you get Camo Pro and that unlocks all features. Now with Camo Pro, you get up to 1080p resolution, it removes the watermark, and you can use that cool portrait mode on your iPhone to get that real nice shallow depth of field. And you can make a bunch of other adjustments in the software. Hey, instead of telling you, I'm gonna show you. So let's get into it. Now, if you have a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, you know how terrible the built-in webcams are. You're likely also an iPhone user, so I think you'll be interested in this. It also works with Android and Windows PCs as well. Just take a look at all of the video programs and apps it's compatible with. Zoom, GoToMeeting, Final Cut Pro, OBS and Streamlabs, Twitch, Microsoft Teams, Skype, but only Windows supports Skype for business at this point, not Mac. Then you have Discord and StreamYard, just to call out some of these. Now I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed that it does not support FaceTime. It does not support FaceTime, you guys, but Skype and Zoom are good alternatives. And full disclosure, the developer Reincubate did set me up with a pro license, so I do have Camel Pro. So that's what we're gonna be checking out today. You're also gonna see this all for yourself, so you don't have to take my word for it. Now, I'm fully embedded into the Apple ecosystem, so I'm on a MacBook Air, and I'm using an iPhone 13. But again, the software is compatible with Windows PCs and Android. Where do you see how easy it is to get all of this set up? Now, one thing you'll need to keep in mind, you can't mount your smartphone onto your laptop or to your monitor, right? So you're gonna need some kind of tripod. Uh, this one that I'm using right here is under $20. I'm gonna put links in the description box to where you can find this out on Amazon. I'll also leave you with another option there so you have a couple couple ways you can go with this. But, uh, but yeah, you're gonna need some kind of tripod. This one is uh, really, really good, really, really sturdy. Um, you're also gonna make sure you have a smartphone mount as well, okay? So that's what, uh, one thing you wanna make sure you keep in mind with this. Now for my iPhone users, you can do lightning to USB-C or lightning to USB-A, whatever. You just need something to connect your phone to your uh, PC or your laptop. And then you're gonna need to download the Camel software to your PC and to your smartphone, okay? So you can see this. You need to have that software on both and you're gonna open both up. All right, so let's walk through how to get this set up right now. Okay, once you have the software open on your PC and on your smartphone, now we can go ahead and get the smartphone mounted on the tripod and connect it via the lightning cable. All right, so let's do that now. Okay, so you can see I've got mine set up with the rear facing camera facing me. You can totally use the selfie camera as well. Uh, but the quality is usually a lot better with the rear facing camera. So that's how I have mine set up. I'm just gonna plug in the lightning cable. And there we go. You can see we have a feed and right away, um, I don't know about you, but I can tell that this is uh, a lot better than what I can get out of most webcams. Okay, so let's play around with this thing a little bit, uh, you guys. So I've got three cameras set up here. I actually have two iPhones connected. This is really uh, cool. I'll show you this right off the bat here. So I'm gonna go to this drop down right here 
and I'm gonna switch to my other iPhone. So this is really, really cool. You can set up multiple shots right here in this software. I'm gonna switch back and we're just gonna play around with all of these various settings. Now, one thing I wanna point out here, I got this message here saying, uh, we've detected you're using a USB hub with camo. We recommend plugging your phone into your computer directly. Now, if you are a Mac user, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, you know that you have to use a dock or a dongle um, to expand um, the two uh, ports that you get, uh, Thunderbolt ports that you get, you got to expand that. So you're going to end up having to plug this into a dock and not directly into your MacBook. So far, it looks fine. So i um, not sure if it's going to cause any problems or not. But anyway, I'm recording right in the software. So you just come up here and you click record and it's going to record um, all of this for you. Really, really cool. All right. Let's just go through some of the settings, all right? Why don't we? Uh, one thing I do want to show you here, you can increase the size of this. Um, if you want, you can do that. And notice something here right off the bat. Notice that there's a little bit of a blurry background and I'm sitting here where I am on purpose because I want you to see the background here. See up here, mode where it says portrait beta. So this is using the uh, functionality in your iPhone to create this blurry background. As you know, you have this feature in your phone. Now, here's what it looks like normally, right? Everything's in focus, but you can come down here and go to portrait beta, and now you can control your depth of field here. You can get it super blur blurry, and you're basically uh, controlling that with this dial here. Okay, this is in beta. To me, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, so, hey, and then I'm gonna switch to the other camera and I'm gonna do the same over there. I'm gonna switch that to portrait and boom. Check that out, you guys. Is that not freaking cool? Really, really cool. Okay, let's switch back and keep it moving. Now here you can see that you can change the lens iPhones these days come with multiple uh, camera lenses. Now, I can't switch it since I'm recording, but uh, you know, before you start recording, you can switch uh, which lens you're recording from. You can even record from the selfie uh, lens, the front facing camera. Okay, you can see here that you can change to manual focus. I'm gonna keep that in auto and you can switch out your resolution. You can see that here, uh, audio pickup, uh, now this is a shooting at 30 frames per second. I think that's standard. I didn't see a way to change the frame rate. That's the one thing I didn't notice. I'll double check that. If I do see it, I will put that up on the screen. Let's switch over just for, to keep things dynamic. This is awesome, okay? Can you imagine using this for like a live stream or something like that? How cool is that? And I just thought I probably will do that. I probably will do that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, so you can see here, you can switch which um, um, mic is being used. And then here we go, we have some presets. Okay, now if you wanna increase the saturation, boom, you can see that in my hat now. I look a little bit orange now, but uh, that's a preset that you can do. This is gonna take some of that saturation out, some of the color out. This is black and white, which looks pretty cool. I'm gonna switch over to the other camera, see how that looks when I change the preset. Boom, so let's try that and come over here. Boom, and then boom, how y'all doing? Okay, <laughs> this is awesome, man. I am really getting a kick out of this and uh, there's a lot of use cases for this. Okay, let's just keep going down the line here. There's some really, you know, off the, off the charts kind of stuff here. If you're looking to do some real artsy, creative type stuff, um, but you can see what you can do here. And you can even create your own presets. Uh, we won't do anything with that right now, but you can see all the things you can do. Uh, mirror your video. So that's kind of self-explanatory. It's gonna show up just as it is uh, to the eye. Overlays. You can create those. Now, um, there's some default ones, as you can see. I like to have mine just straight clean. 
um, the camo logo you can see there. I like mine to be clean. You can put your own logo up there, but a lot of the softwares that we use, uh, StreamYard and um, YouTube, you know, our logo is already going to be up there. But if you're using something like Zoom or Skype and you wanted to, to put your logo up, you have the option there. And you can see rotation and zoom. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Boom. All right, I don't want you guys to see my pores. Okay, <laughs> but you get the idea here. And then over here, you get some um, uh, light adjustments. You can adjust your exposure. Um, you know, I like to just have all of this set at auto, but you can see all of the things that you can do in this software. Uh, sharpness, contrast, saturation, all those manual adjustments you can make right in here. So you can see this is very powerful. Now what I want to do, um, because it should be pretty obvious, the camera quality or the video quality that you can get out of the iPhone is just going to surpass pretty much any webcam you're going to use. This looks so good, you wouldn't even think it came from a webcam and it's not coming from a webcam, <laughs> but you get the point I'm trying to make. This looks so good. Can you imagine using this for Skype or Zoom? The quality is just so good and using it to live stream on something like StreamYard, okay? Uh, so, so cool. Let's switch this out again and um, we'll just keep going here. I just want you to kind of get an idea of what you can do with this. Okay, so that's it y'all. How to use your smartphone as a webcam. I hope you found this useful. I do all kinds of videos like this. So if you're interested in that, again, please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later y'all.